I'm a member of Spectre. Bond. James Bond. Does the toppling of American missiles really compensate for having no hands? He's pushing it. <laughs> Three, two, one. Time for some James Bond, Doctor No. Let's do this, baby. <laughs> Greetings and salutations and welcome back to Hit or Miss TV. Welcome back. My name is Ramon. My name is Lorraine. And today we're starting up a brand new show, episode, series, if you like, and this is going to be all to do with James Bond. James Bond, license to kill. Because I've only had a channel for just under a year, I thought, why not just watch all of the James Bond movies? I'm a massive fan, massive fan. It's a fucking lie. Nobody calls me a liar. Who is your favourite James Bond actor and why? Let me know down in the comments. Batman. Shall I say who my favourite is? Nobody cares. No, I'll save it because we're going to be doing this for, well, 20, 25 films. So this will be an ongoing thing because obviously James Bond never ever ends, even though what happened in the last one. Shut up! Today we're kicking off with the very, very first movie and I'm going to say that this is my number one James Bond movie, to be honest with you. This stars Sean Connery and it's called Doctor No. At the end, we'll have a little bit of a discussion. Tell us what you think of the movie, if you've seen it. If you've not seen it, go and watch it now. I'll come back and then we can have a little chat about it. Why should I? Here we go. Sean Connery starring as James Bond in Doctor No. <laughs> oh, such a banger. Oh, it's so sick. We don't speak like that here in the UK either. Hello there. Charles. Hello, darling. We don't do that. Oh. I don't remember that. That shows you it's been a while since I've watched this. Look how old the radio is. I will have a bit of fun, but I'm not disrespecting the stuff. It's just so old. I'd love one of them radios. Oh, unlucky, darling. It's a bit more brutal than I remember it, to be honest. Doctor No. Big Ben still standing, still there. My hometown. There he is. Mr. Bond. James Bond. And the music coming in. Because you wouldn't care to. Oh, that's iconic scenes in cinema, mate. Iconic. I know what he's thinking. Tell me, Miss Trench, do you play any other game? Golf, amongst other things. He's so cheeky. My number's on the card. He's so smooth and he look. Atta boy. I've been searching London for you. 007 is here, sir. He's such an animal, look. You never take me to dinner looking like this, Jane. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere, but don't stop trying. When men were allowed to be men, eh? He was such a good looking guy, weren't he? I can say that as a straight man. He's just had so much swagger. But finishing up in the middle of the Brazilian jungle's bad enough. Now they're going to try orbiting a rocket round the moon. He just got mugged off. <laughs> So Bond is being sent to Jamaica to investigate because the radio's gone off and we obviously know what's happened because we see. So he's being sent the papers and a flight to Jamaica. Yes, I thought so. This damn Beretta again. Nice and light in the lady's handbag. Oh, shame. Any questions, 007? No, sir. 007? He's so cheeky. Just leave the Beretta. <laughs> he's trying it. Look, he never listens. Bond is so great. Oh, Miss Bonnie Penny, forget the usual in a hurry. That's so funny. It's also quite astounding, really, when you think about these movies going back to 1962 to think that, you know, how popular and famous this is. Quite incredible, really, to, for it to still be relevant. Do you know what I mean? There. Oh. Now you made me miss it. She's hitting the balls. It's a thing. Oh, it's that woman. I decided to accept your invitation. Well, well, well. I changed into something more comfortable. Oh, I hope I did the right thing. Well, you did the right thing. <laughs> when did you say you had to leave? Almost immediately. He's a nightmare, honestly. Nightmare. She's a bit of a right, isn't she? That's a bit of me, that is. Help yourself. Where's your manners, Mr. Bond? I'm Mr. Jones, a chauffeur from Government House. I've been sent again. Now, hang on a minute, will you? I want to check my reservation. Will you send the car to meet me? I didn't think you wanted an official reception. Quite right. He's smart, checking that if it's uh, a dodgy car or not, he knows. Smart dude. I'm guessing that's CIA following him. So we've got a car chase right away. They're being followed. Mm. 
Atta boy, he's on the ball, old uh, James Bond. But you gotta be, I suppose, being an agent. Oh! That was close. Get up. I think he just took cyanide or something. Wow, he'd rather commit suicide than, than talk. Crazy. Sergeant, make sure he doesn't get away. They're so bad. They're so bad. Well, Duff, what have you got for us? The car was stolen and... Nice pair of shorts, aren't they? Yes, I'd like to meet the last people to see Strangways. I can introduce you at the club tonight. Fine. So they've discovered a place in Jamaica where that girl was uh, killed earlier on. So I suppose he's got to investigate now to find out who done it. He had some long ass legs, didn't he? He must have been well tall. Don't trust anyone, does he? Can't say you really blame him. Foreign country, craziness going on. He's got to be careful. Oh, smart. He's leaving it there to see if anyone tries to go in it, maybe. When he goes out, I'm guessing. Oh, and he's putting traps around the apartment to see if anyone comes in. Smooth, bro. God rest his soul, Sean Connery. He was so iconic, man. Ain't no use you struggling. Go on, Bond. Right. Up slowly and face that wall. Look at that. That pose. Hold it. Oh, bummer. Gently, bud, gently. Let's not get excited. Wasn't that the CIA guy that I thought was CIA? Risk him. It is. Maybe they're not the bad guys, I think. I don't remember any of this. I just remember the airport and the vit and the bad guy at the end. Where were you measured for this, bud? My tailor, several row. Mine's a guy in Washington. It is Felix. I thought so. Oh. Quarrel. He's been helping me. No hard feelings, I hope. Only a sore hand. Nice. That's an iconic moment. Now, I'll just say, if you're into James Bond, as I say, if you're joining me for the first time, Felix Leiter is like the equivalent of James Bond for the CIA. So MI6, UK, James Bond, CIA, Felix, United States, and he's kind of the equivalent. So all through every single one of the movies, I'd say for the majority of the movies, Felix Leiter is mentioned or turns up in one way or another. So that's the very first on-screen appearance of Felix Leiter in terms of Bond, Felix Leiter, to my knowledge we didn't have no right to go there why not it belongs to a chinese so someone's spying on him Even she's sexy bruv if he gets it on with her i won't be happy <laughs> why do you want another picture of me because that's the way i am my living who pays you oh, <laughs> you want for me to get rid of her oh that's gonna hurt <laughs> You want me to break her arm? He's talking about breaking her arm. What? Run along, Freeland. You'll all be sorry, you rats. <laughs> One takes cyanide, another would have stood for her arm being broken, neither would talk. He's got a point. Who would scare people enough to not speak? What else do we know about this Chinese gentleman? Nothing much, except his name, Dr. No. It's such a crazy name as well. I remember when I was a kid, I was like, Dr. No. It's such a weird name, ain't it? It's those assassins again. The three blind mice. <laughs> As a close one. He brought some rock samples into me for testing. I was convinced they were valuable. Can I see them? I threw them away. Bit of a dodgy guy. So this guy is on or in part of cahoots with whatever happened. For the life of me, I don't remember any of this. It's still quite phenomenal, as I say, to think that this is 1962. That they, you know, went to Jamaica, 1962 film this. It just baffles me. You are not going to fail me again, Professor. He's not a fool. He's sure to come out here. I hope not. If he does, I shall hold you responsible. Don't mess around this guy, does he? Quite creepy because he's so calm. Spider. Wow. Good night, Miss Bond. She's a bit tasty as well, isn't she? <laughs> now I guess he's going to check to see if all the stuff's moved that he set up the traps earlier on, remember? I think he put a strand of hair on the door and powder or something on his suitcase. It's gone. Someone's been in there, about the suitcase. Fingerprints. So that means that spider's in there somewhere. Oh, I wouldn't drink that, mate. New bottle, good idea. He's a bit of a boy, isn't he? Just drinks vodka straight, hardcore. Oh dear, oh dear, it's a spider. Oh, 
it's on him. I wonder what breed that is. Oh, what do you do? What do you do? I bet there's people freaking out watching this. No, it's just a tarantula. It's not a, that's not dangerous. It actually ain't dangerous, it's a tarantula. Nice going. Keep it calm, bro. <laughs> he tried to keep it calm. Oh, poor baby. Poor little fur baby. Yeah, that was a tarantula. They like venomous, but like a, a, a wasp sting, it's not something that could end your life. Cover it up. We'd better get some sleep before it gets light. I like this guy, Quarrel. He's a cool dude. You don't feel safe there either. I wouldn't either, mate. Here's another iconic scene that's coming up, ladies and gents. This is like... This is such a famous scene. This. I think it's Ursula Andress or something like that. The very, very first Bond girl. Underneath the mango tree, my honey and me. Who is that? Looking for shells? No, I'm just looking. <laughs> He's funny, man. Oh, she don't mess around. Fair play. Fair play. Well, she can handle herself. That's cool. What's your name? Ryder. Ryder what? Honey Ryder. Honey Ryder is her name. It's a very pretty name. Honey Ryder. Are they valuable? This one is worth $50 in Miami. That's crazy. I promise you won't tell anyone. <laughs> oh, it's a boat. So they're now trapped on this island and it seems that Dr. No is sending out guards. First it was on a boat and now, you know, they're, they're, still, they're still trapped here. They were shot out on the island. All of you, stay and now right where you are. that looks like a tank or something. I'm sure this is the thing that breathes fire. Yeah, this is it. Okay, Captain, if that ain't a dragon, what is it? A dragon that runs on diesel engines. Kind of looks like a tank with a flamethrower. Frightened. She was frightened, so she ran towards it. You've got to be crazy. No, not Quarrel. Oh, man. I don't remember that happening. Quarrel. Drop that gun. I hate Doctor No now. Where do you think you're going? Sorry we ain't got any flowers. Give me that knife. So at least you don't take no grief, you see? They've always gone on. I always mention this about strong women in, in movies. Look, look at her. They've got guns and flamethrowers and she's still, like, smacking people. So there's always been strong women, mate. Right, so they've been captured and they're now going into Dr. No's base. I remember this a little bit. I remember something like, it's like acid or water or something like that. I can't remember all of it. I just remember it was so cool when I was a kid. He's really 95, Chief. Radiation. Oh, it's a radioactive island, I guess. Oh, I see, right. Yeah, so they're wa washing off the um, the radioactive, whatever it was that they've got on them, maybe from the beach or something, I don't know. It is He's now 18. Practically She's here. And his hair's all dry and perfect, look. <laughs> That's quality. Yeah, look, perfect hair. Decontamination here. They're coming through now. Was that a cell or something? Are they trapped in there? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. You poor dears. We simply didn't know when to expect you. First it was tea time yesterday, and then dinner, and it was... She's talking like it's a flipping hotel. She's doing, crazy woman. You'll be wanting to see your room. Breakfast is already ordered, and then... See? It's like a hotel. What is going on here? Yeah, I remember this part as well, the, the rooms and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The old cliche uh, villain base, if you know what I mean. They've always got these elaborate bases. Could be underwater or a volcano or something like this. All radioactive everywhere. It's the cliche of Bond villains. If there's anything else you want, anything at all. So just two air tickets to London? <laughs> I don't feel so good. I feel so scary. Uh, their drinks have been um, spiked with something to knock them out. Yeah, coffee. Oh, that's the villain, Dr. No. I remember the hand. Yeah, the hands. He's got like busted hands or metal hands or something like that. 
That's what I mean, they was always creating elaborate villains even back then. Another thing you don't see too often these days as well is you never hold a villain till the very, very end of the movie. Call me silly, but I think them outfits are the nuts, mate. <laughs> Sabina children, leave all the talking to me. In here, please. You see, they say the whole macho thing, look, and he's just admitted he's scared too, see? He's, he's human. This is a proper wicked base. Proper. Looks like a honeymoon suite, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, wow. Artificial light. We could be hundreds of feet beneath the sea here. One million dollars, Mr. Bond. Here he is. You were admiring my aquarium. A unique feat of engineering, if I may say so. I designed it myself. Minnows pretending they're whales. Just like you on this island, Dr. No. <sighs> we'll have dinner at once. There's so much to discuss, so little time. He's definitely a complete psychopath, isn't he? I want to know if he's going to say what happened to his hands because I just, I don't know. I just remember him having like metal hands or deformed hands or something, but I don't know why or how. My work has given me a unique knowledge of radioactivity, but not without costs, as you Ah, oh, right. Oh, I see. It was a radioactive accident. Let her go free. She'll promise not at all. I agree. This is no place for the girl. Take her away. He's trying to do the right thing. I'm sure the guards will amuse her. Oh. It's a Dom Perignon 55. It would be a pity to break it. I prefer the 53 myself. <laughs> Does the toppling of American missiles really compensate for having no hands? He's pushing it. I'm a member of Spectre. Spectre. See, that's the first time we ever heard it as well. Spectre, the movie Spectre, Blofeld, Doctor No, all part of Spectre. The one thing that links all of the movies together, obviously with James Bond, MI6, but Spectre is the organisation. Our asylums are full of people who think they're Napoleon or God. He knows how to push his buttons, doesn't he? Persist in trying to provoke me, Mr Bond. <laughs> there you go. Usually when a man gets in my way... supersonic hands or something i don't know he sticks to his 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 morals though in his guns james bond it's why he's always been loved so much even in the face of danger he just sort of shows the middle finger i never fail mr bond Ooh. 